Hi there, I'm Tyler Ballhorn. Welcome to the Stock Scores Market Analysis for May 3rd, 2010. First up this week from the Stock Scores Trading Desk, which you can access by going to tradingdesk.stockscores.com. That address is at the top of the page here. Our first chart this week is the Dow 30 ETF, DIA is the symbol. And there we can see that the short-term upward trend line was broken last week. However, the longer term upward trend line is still well intact. My expectation is that because that short term upward trend line was broken, we probably start to move down towards that longer term upward trend line. Now there's two ways we can get there. We can go sideways for a long time or we can pull back in a relatively short period of time. But either way, the probability of the market moving back towards that long term upward trend line is pretty good. Next up we have a chart of the Canadian dollar ETF, symbol FXC, and up until last week this market looked like it was going to lead the currencies higher. However, weakness in Europe caused the US dollar to strengthen and that took some of the wind out of the sails of the Canadian dollar and it looks to me now like this currency is going to build an ascending triangle pattern here for the near term. I do like it longer term but expect some sideways trading action on the Canadian dollar in the short term. Now, if we break down through that little upward trend line that is formed there, then we'll see more negativity, but it looks to me like right now that little upward trend line will hold. Here we have the chart of gold, which has been quite impressive over the last little while. It uh, broke out from this pennant pattern earlier in the month and is now winding its way towards resistance. I never really liked the gold trade, not because I didn't think it was going to go higher, but rather because the upside, if you're buying that breakout from the pennant, the upside was about equal to the downside to support, maybe slightly better. And typically when I trade, I only want uh, trades where the upside potential is at least double the downside risk. So yes, gold does look like it's going to go higher. I just didn't feel like the reward potential compensated us adequately for the risk of the trade. Here is a chart of oil which continues to be locked in a sideways trading range. However, there is optimism building in this chart as evidenced by these rising bottoms. I think it will probably take a while to get out of this trading range. Perhaps it will never get out of this trading range, but the bias is upward. So I think you can take some small bites out of some of the energy stocks, particularly those weighted more with oil than gas. Gas stocks, of course, suffering from the weakness in the gas commodity market. Here's a chart of the NASDAQ 100 ETF symbol triple, pardon me, quadruple Qs. And it too broke that upward trend line in the short term. However, the long term upward trend line is still well intact. And we may simply just see a pullback here. We've had the market make some pretty good gains over the last three months. And it looks to me like it wants to take a little breather. So sideways trading to get back to the trend line or a period of, of um, pullback to that upward trend line would be quite reasonable in the near term. The S&P 500 is almost a identical chart to the NASDAQ 100. It has broken its upward trend line. Long term upward trend line, still lots of room there uh, for a pullback without ruining the long term upward bias in the market. You know, looking out a year, it looks to me like this market is higher. Looking out a month, good potential that we're lower in the next little while. This is a chart of the TSX, the Benchmark Canadian Index, the TSX 60. And it's really trying to get out through resistance here. It just can't seem to do it. But of course, we do have rising bottoms on this chart, which is a sign of optimism. I do like this market longer term, but it does need to make that breakout before we get overly bullish. And finally, here's a chart of the US dollar, which broke that short term pessimism that was building. I've drawn that here. Broke that about two weeks ago. It's continued to rise. It will probably get stuck under resistance there unless the uh, political situation in the world worsens and people scramble for the safety of the US dollar. My expectation is that more likely we will see this market trend sideways here, but with an optimistic bias indicating that the longer term trend outlook for the US dollar relative to global currencies is an upside one. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Analysis for May 3rd, 2010. For more information on the services offered by Stock Scores, we encourage you to visit us at www.
www.stockscores.com. Have a great week in the market and trade well.